Hi, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. Every day, every single day, I wish that for you. Well, this morning I ran into a great recipe for deodorant. It's a this is a do-it-yourself deodorant video, except I don't have the visuals. You just have to listen. Um, first of all, dealing with Bartonella gives me just the biggest, ugh, the biggest stink in the armpits, and I have to pay extra special attention to my lymphatic system and make sure that my lymph stays moving as much as possible. And three, about three years ago, when I initially got this this stuff from ticks, the Bartonella in particular, along with the Lyme disease and the Babesia and all that stuff. Um, I, I knew that I needed to give up antiperspirant deodorant and so I began my armpit detox back then and it's it's been a long stinky road <laughs> that, that goes up and down, you know, like some days it's not that bad other days is bad, so, you know, I want to be able to be around people. I, I don't like to always be secluded and be the stinky person in the home. So I found this awesome recipe from Wellness Mama. She, she's on Twitter. You can follow her if you want to. And it's, it's just the bomb. I, I can't believe it took me almost three years to find to find a natural deodorant recipe that also repels ticks because I put tea tree oil in it. So it repels ticks and other bugs. It also boosts the immune system. It's a good antifungal. Tea tree is well known for that. Basically, if you do some research on tea tree oil, it is like a medicine cabinet full of benefits and, and oil. So, you know, whether you choose to use tea tree oil or whatever in your recipe, if you choose to make this, um, it's, it's a good thing to know that, you know, there's, there's a lot of health benefits that come from using the tea tree oil. So the recipe, it, it was from a, a blog, I think. Um, I posted it on my Twitter under Limey Lindy. Um, it it was three, actually it was six tablespoons of extra virgin coconut oil cold pressed, which I always keep around because I'm an oil puller. Um, it was three tablespoons. It, let's get the ratios right. It doesn't matter if it's cups, teaspoons, tablespoons, milliliters, grams, ounces, whatever. <laughs> um, so three, three of the oil, three tablespoons oil okay coconut oil then three tablespoons baking soda and you can use less if it irritates your arms like it does me but i i just went ahead and used three this is my first batch making it um then three tablespoons of cornstarch there's other better things to use but i'm poor so i used what i had in the kitchen and i am so happy with how it came out uh, man, it feels so good to just smell decent, you know, um, goodness. So what I did was I mixed the dry ingredients into a, a glass bowl, you know, like the kind that you would eat cereal out of. And I added in the solidified coconut milk, which coconut milk, coconut oil, <laughs> and I got a fork and I mushed it all together and it turned out into, you know, a pretty impressive cream, a thick cream. And it looks like this when it's done. This is almost room temperature. I, I, I did put it in the refrigerator to make it solid, but I'm just going to store it in a container with a lid. But tea tree oil usually, you know, has such a powerful smell. I hate the smell of it, but anything that repels ticks is my friend. So, uh, the thing is though, is when I mix the tea tree oil in with the coconut, oil it makes it smell a lot better 
a lot better. So it really smells good. I'm so happy. So I can use this under my arms or it can be used under the breasts if, you know, it, if that's a need or in between fat rolls if that's a need. It's not limited like store-bought antiperspirant that really needs to just be thrown in the trash because that stuff will cause disease. It, it yeah, it, it can really, really make us sick. So I thought that I would share that with you and I'm wearing it now and my armpits feel so clean and I feel so clean and good and I owe Wellness Mama the biggest thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You might want to follow her on Twitter too. Y'all take care. Toodles.